Oh, well, this hallway is familiar. I wonder if. I wonder if we had like the same powers as the Hat Man. Yeah, this makes sense. Everything makes sense here. No! Rude. Okay, I guess we're going to this one. Or... Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. The Collective Hallucination Hat Man? Uh, I don't know what that is. This door. Oh, that's over here. There we go. No music. I like this door. never heard of the hat man I would definitely say that that sounds like our character I need to look into that. Sounds really interesting. Oh my gosh. So many doors. Wait, hold on. Here it is. Don't actually try and see the hat man. These are making noise. Oh, I know what I need to do. Tell me. We doing all right. This sounds great. Six, you in here? Oh. Twisted to be like 
the other like creatures in the games. Hold hands. Why am I crouching? Oh. killed me how did that kill me also I can faintly hear this the tune um, in the music in the music or I'm, it's just stuck in my head. I wonder if going through this is what gives Six her like insatiable hunger.
Oh. Cool. tried to run. spot. How do I get it? Yeah, but there's something about tearing into food that's just so fun. No. There's something to be said about the fact that we were partners and now my call is practically abusive to her. so much flesh like materials around us <gasps> six are you okay oh we're going this way that's an eyeball I don't want that Thanks. Don't like this. Uh, was I supposed to be able to make that jump? I'm stuck! Ah! Okay, 
the uh, the flesh is not very uh, easy to run on. Seriously, what am I supposed to do here? How do I make that jump? I see, I see, I see, I see. I should wait. I need to just wait. She's gonna drop me. She's gonna drop me. not very nice to her in the end.
Huh. Okay, well... That's it. Wow. Um... So I guess we were the hat man the whole time. Maybe there's a reason why, maybe that's why like he was so insistent on keeping six away from us is because he knew it was going to happen, you know, still completely causing it to happen, but you know, it's actually kind of interesting. That that put that makes a parallel between the first and second games, where you, the player character, like become something that's in the game. Because in the first game, Six like takes over the lady's abilities. Like she becomes the villain in there. I mean, to get her freedom, sure, but. And then Mono becomes the hat man. Huh. Still, it was a very cool game. I, I. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed the environments. They were very good. Um, definitely stood up to the first game. Both were excellent. I loved having Six along with me. I liked the like the cooperation aspect. Um, the puzzles were good. The enemies were fantastic. Uh, the hospital was absolutely terrifying. Uh, I'm very thankful that there were no freaking leeches in this game. Those things are disgusting. Music was awesome. Really good. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing it. I don't I don't think there's any DLC for this game, so probably going to wrap it up here and go like eat some cookies or something. Maybe some pizza, because <laughs> I'm hungry. But yeah, um, let's just, I'm gonna wait until the credits are over to just check out the main menu before raiding out. No, I've been hungry for a while. Pizza was helpful. I have some leftover pizza in my fridge, but I also have some cookies left over that I want to eat. I want so I want to talk a little bit about um 6 so this definitely felt like it was a prequel to the last game. I mean, so this is where Six kind of got her story from, at least. She was apparently, I don't know, captured by the Huntsman. And just trapped in that basement for a while. And like, I guess all she had to comfort her was that music, which makes sense as to why she was so attached to it later on. Um, I wonder if she knew it like I wonder if Six knew that we would become the hat man and that's why she dropped us I mean it's that or it's the fact that we destroyed her only source of comfort for that a whole time She was forced to go through something that turned her into basically a monster. But she had to rely on that that music to keep to like help her like I guess stay sane or whatever. 
and the only way for us to like get her out of it was to destroy her source of comfort kind of fucked up to go through two traumatic experiences and then have what comforts you in one of them destroy what comforts you in the other one I also like the idea that something about being turned into that monster just kind of forced her to become what she is in the se in the first game. Because, you know, she didn't eat anything this entire game. We didn't see her consume a live rat or a block of rotted meat or anything. But yeah. Yep, you're right. She is just a kid. Yeah, she was getting a little violent. I mean, again, it, if anything, Six definitely went through something traumatic. 100%. And she became more violent. I mean, it's like, okay, come on. She was captured by the Huntsman. Locked in a the basement. Then she was taken captive by the kids. <laughs> and then she was taken captive by the Hatman. She honestly, it's just drama for her. She did. She did become very violent. Yeah. We only found two hats. Out of the entire game, we found two hats. Parts longer than I thought they would be. I wonder if there's a post credit scene. I might listen through the soundtrack, see if there's any songs that I like. I doubt I'm going to be adding all of them because <laughs> it's a horror game and I don't need that kind of music in my life, but there are some bops. I think the scariest area was definitely the hospital. My favorite? I really liked the city. The school was interesting. The school had a, had a couple challenging sections. Hatman was the Hatman chase sequences were terrifying. He, they definitely got me on the like the the trains. Well, whatever they are. Rail cars.
No, that's right. There is a third game coming out next year. What is the information on that? Nightmares 3, you follow the journey of low and alone as they search for a path that could lead them out of the nowhere. Trapped within the spiral, a cluster of disturbing places, the two friends will have to work together to survive in a dangerous world full of delusions and escape the grasp of an even greater threat lurking in the shadows. Oh my gosh, it's co-op or solo with an AI companion. Yo, anyone want to do this with me? Raven mask and the girl with pigtails. So I wonder. So I mean, obviously, Little Nightmares two like directly tied into Little Nightmares one, with you know, the main character being in the game. But I wonder how this one will tie in, if it ties in. Choose from, oh, each character has their own iconic items. Huh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, no in credit scene. And no extras either. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I did. I did. Um, you made it just in time for the end confused. <laughs> We're about to raid out. Let's see. Actually, let's raid Toaster. Toaster's doing some, some Castlevania for spooky season. If I can spell anything. There you are. But yeah. Hey, Gumby. But yeah, um... Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game. It was a good time. I hope I'm looking forward to the next one. And um, I guess we still have a couple weeks left in, Hall in Halloween, in the month of Halloween. We still have a couple weeks left in the month of Halloween. So I might need to find some new um, scary games for next Friday and the Friday after. Right? Two more Fridays? But yeah. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I hope you had a good time. I will be back maybe this weekend for another stream. Um, if not, we have a stream almost every night next week. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday. Because that's next week. So I should probably come up with an idea for a birthday stream. Maybe... Um, Maybe I should just play a bunch of different games. We could either do like a community night game or we could do just whatever's in my library. But yeah, be ready for that. But um, other than that, that's it for me. I will see you all when I see you. Bye. <laughs>